Hi folks! In this short video, we're going to set up our Cribble search environment to connect to our Google Cloud Storage account and start searching data within it. So let's get started. First, let's navigate to Data, Data Set Providers. Initially, we have to create a Data Set Provider, which essentially tells Cribble where to query and what access credentials to use. Let's click Create Provider in the top right, and let's select Google Cloud Storage from the drop-down below. Let's go ahead and give this a, an ID and a description. Down below, you'll see a field to put in the authentication key from the GCS side. In order to get to that part, we first have to create a service account and key on the GCS side. That account will also need access with storage admin role privileges to your storage bucket you'd like to search. So let's pivot into the GCP console to get that all set up. First, we need to create a service account that Cribble Search will use to access your GCS resources. We're gonna click Create Service Account, and we're gonna keep it real simple here. Just give the service account a name. When all done, we'll just click done at the bottom, wait for that to process, and we're gonna find our service account in the list over here and just copy the email address of that service account. We'll need this in just a bit. So we're gonna to pivot to the GCS bucket in order to grant our service account access to our data. So I already have my bucket created here. It's called GCS Pan Archive. Once we click into that bucket, we're gonna go into permissions. Here is where we're gonna give our service account the necessary access. So click on grant access at the bottom and paste in your service account into the principal field. Once you've got that done, under role, let's look for storage admin. Click on that and hit save. Perfect. One last item to do on the GCP side is we actually need to create a key for our service account. So pivoting back to that and into our service account, we're gonna click on the keys option, add key, create new key, and we're gonna select the key type JSON. Once you click create, you'll see a download for your, for your key um, in your downloads folder. At this point, let's pivot back to Cribble Search and finish setting up our dataset provider. So using that key that's in your downloads folder, let's drag and drop that into the service credentials and hit save. So your dataset provider is now ready to use. The next step is to set up our data set. This will tell Cribble Search which data specifically to search from our data set provider. So we're gonna click on data sets, add data set in the top right. Let's give it a name, a description, and select the provider that we just created. You'll see some new fields pop up um, the first is bucket path. So in my case, I had a bucket that had a subdirectory um, called archive logs and then some tokenized time-based partitioning. Um, you can change that depending on what your partitions look like. Um, you can also add any filters that you might need in, in the path filter. This field accepts any JavaScript expression. So once that's all done, let's hit save and our data set should be ready to use. So you can start searching by either navigating back to the home page and starting a search there, or you can leverage the handy dandy search action button at the end of the row for your data set. So there you have it. Um, we are now searching within our GCS bucket. Thanks for watching.